Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigeria and African boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And so I also want to drop in your bank a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Uh, let's of course get to it right here, Tyson Fury's dad, Big John Fury. Came out yesterday, all gone blazing. Talking about his son. Uh, saying that, of course, um, yeah, his son should vacate the WBC belt, you know, shifting the blame uh, towards um, uh, his team. You know, Tyson Fury's dad, let me tell you one thing the guy, John Fury, is really what you call. Of visionary you know i don't know about you i don't know. I listen visionary in the sense that the guy knows what to say what to do and is quick to listen if you have a situation right here um and you explain and you and you tell john, john fury for example you tell him listen what should i do next you know how do i how do i go about this thing you know john fury will be the one to like tell you listen this way this is what you do this is what you do this is what you do this is how you, you do it he can easily get you out of trouble <laughs> so tassifer was on the backlash a lot uh after he pulled out of the anti-judicial fight uh i mean a, a big letdown and the boxing fans and still not happy he chose to fight uh dion to the bronze but water instead uh the fight is going to take place according to the rumors uh it's taking place july 24th so but this interview right here you're seeing right now is the one that was conducted okay like a few days like three four days before the one that came out yesterday john fury re he reacted to the to the collapse of joshua fury and he said it kind of a very different thing compared to what he said yesterday um in an interview with uh pt spot less of course yeah, what do I say right here? Ruled in Deontay's favour. Well, let me tell you, Tyson will beat these two in the same year. He'll beat Wilder in July, and he'll come and beat Joshua in November. And he'll sign for them two fights this year. People, you watch Tyson. He's already signed for Wilder. He's going to sign for AJ. And it will be this year. You can guarantee that. You've got my word. That's a pledge to all. That's a pledge to all the fans in the world. He was meant to be boxing AJ, but uh, Deontay Wilder's lawyers ruled in Deontay's favour. Well, let me tell you, Tyson will beat these two in the same year. He'll beat Wilder in July and he'll come and beat Joshua in November. And he'll sign for them two fights this year. People, you watch Tyson. Guys. He's already signed for Wilder. Well, this is a complete uh, a different opinion. Uh, he's saying, listen, he wasn't really frustrated like the, the way he was yesterday. Of course, he went and held on his son, saying that, hey, uh, his son is to vacate that belt and all this kind of stuff. I'm just not buying it. Um, I'm not buying it. This is kind of a damage control. Let's let our brother right here, uh, uh, Mao Joe, come in and break it down. What is Tyson Fury's dad, John Fury, up to, bro? As soon as I saw the interview yesterday, um, what I tried to look out for, I looked out for his, what his reactions in terms of his facial reactions. Um, and I was basically looking into his eyes just to, I don't know, just to see if he's truly, although I'm not an expert in reading people's, you know, facial reaction, but um, you know, sometimes you can tell if someone is, you can have an idea if someone is saying the truth just by really looking into their eyes and looking at how they're reacting physically. And to me, I feel that, um, or I felt yesterday after watching that interview that 
um, something must have happened um, between Tyson Fury and his dad. Um, maybe they had a conversation over the phone and they probably fell out or um, maybe John Fury is just not happy with something as regards that camp. Um, that was the first thing I assumed. So I just want people to understand that um, whatever I'm saying right now is pure speculation based on my own my own analysis. So I'm only speculating. I don't know this for a fact. Um, so I kind of, I feel that something has happened. Um, they probably fell out because just a few days ago, um, John Fury said um, a complete opposite of what he said yesterday. You know, um, he conducted an interview a few days ago and he was saying that Tyson Fury is going to go in there twice this year. He's going to take out Wilder and he's going to take out Anthony Joshua. But yesterday he came out to say the polar opposite of what he said a few days ago. You know, so obviously yesterday, I'm sure you all have seen the interview when he was saying that um, there was no need or there is no need for that fight. Um, the third fight against Deontay Wilder. Um, and he did mention something about Tyson Fury having a hundred yes men around him. So I feel that something maybe went 20, wrong. 20,000 20, yes men. Is it 20,000 yes men? Okay. Yeah. So I feel that something went wrong. Maybe uh, they fell out over the phone because he, he did allude to the fact that he spoke to his son over the phone. Um, I, you know, the thing for me is that the Furies, right, apart from Peter Fury, um, they've always been a subject of, not even a subject, actually. No, they have been very contradictory. They have been very, very contradictory. Um, yesterday I lied. Today I'm saying the truth. Um, you don't know if they are coming or they are going. Today they tell you the sky is blue and tomorrow they tell you the sky is red. Um, I am not very sure. I know everyone is getting gassed. Everyone is like, oh yeah, you see, um, even John Fury is now saying that I see Fury, blah, 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 blah. Everyone is getting excited. But for me, I'm trying to look at it from an objective point of view where I'm thinking, is this man really genuine? You know, is he really... Or is it really genuine? Or is he trying to do damage control on behalf of Tyson Fury? Because what you realize is that since Fury signed that contract to fight Deontay Wilder for the third time, he has been under immense criticism. You know, he's been the subject of you know criticism. People, even his some of his ardent supporters, has actually turned out to criticize him. They've you know, a lot of people have come out to say that Tyson Fury, you know, docked AJ. And he has lost, I would say, yes, he's probably gained some followers. But those followers he gained on social media are not real followers. A lot of them are just there to, um, just to see what he is doing, you know, with his, with his preparation. And a lot of them, whenever they put comments out there on Tyson Fury's, say, pictures or videos they are putting negative comments. So I think they realize, and especially in the UK, they realize that Tyson Fury's popularity is in the dirt right now, it's in the gutters. So um, I think that John Fury is trying to do um, damage control where he's shifting the focus away from Tyson Fury, saying that Tyson Fury um, is really not the problem, but the problem is the people surrounding Tyson Fury um, because he did mention that um, I think he's probably trying to um, make sure that Tyson Fury's um, reputation is not completely um, in the gutters so I don't personally pure speculation I just think that this is just some kind of um, damage control um, because obviously John Fury is in the UK he knows what is happening he speaks to people, he's on social media, he reads the newspapers, and he knows that Tyson Fury's reputation has really been in the gutters. And obviously, as a caring father, um, he's just trying to do what he thinks is right.
so for me i'm not sure is genuine now in saying that i'm not gonna sit here and say that yeah i believe that john fury knew that um the arbitration was gonna go out as well or anything like that he probably didn't know as well but i think that what he's trying to do is to and that's the reason why he chose bt sports because he knows clearly that a lot of people will tune in and a lot of people will watch that you know so it's like a reverse psychology where oh that's if you mess up blah 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 but it's not really his fault it's the people around him so for me i'm not sure if he's very genuine I think that he himself, he has said it a number of times that Tyson Fury cannot just walk into the AJ fight because he's been idle for a while and he needs to have a fight in between because obviously AJ is a big fight and blah, blah, blah. So he's been alluding to that. So I think that, you know, he's happy. I think deep down, John Fury is probably happy that Tyson Fury is going to fight Deontay Wilder first and hopefully go into the AJ fight. I don't think that John Fury, he has said it, he has said it. I don't think that he is um, very comfortable um, for Tyson Fury to go straight into the um, into the AJ fight after defeating Deontay Wilder and being idle for about 18, 19 months. So I don't think he's comfortable. I think that he's probably very happy this fight is happening, then hopefully goes into the AJ fight. Um, so for me, it's damage control. For me, it is maybe there's a fallout. For me, you know, I don't really think that this is genuine because, like I said, just to round up, just a few days ago, he was talking about, or he talked about how Fury is going to go in there, smash Wilder, and then smash AJ. And now he's saying something completely different. So that's, you know, for me, that's not very clear. That's not very honest. So, yeah, that's what I have to say for now. Thanks, brother. I do definitely appreciate it. Let's get our brother in here, Todd Jagbe. Todd Jagbe, what do you make of John Fury's, uh, you know, recent, um, I don't know, man, like, rant? Well, like, you know what? I, I believe what Maya Joe said. Um, I honestly believe he's just trying to do damage control because, listen, <laughs> John Fury is telling uh, uh, Tyson Fury, listen, man, I think that was the dumbest shit you could have done uh, coming out and, and saying you're going to fight Anthony Joshua. You know, one, you deceive the fans. Two, you're deceiving Anthony Joshua. Because in the end, all roads lead back to Eddie, Eddie Hearn and, and Anthony Joshua. Those are the two you're going to come back to if you beat Deontay Wilder. And you think they're going to they, they're gonna be quick to make a fight with you? Like that, or you think they're gonna be quick to 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 um, to try to get things done, man? You're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard time. Even with that being said, even if you lose to lose to Wilder and you're trying to make a fight with Anthony Joshua without a belt or anything, you think you're gonna get that? Is what's going? Is I guarantee you is what is what the conversation? If not, should have been the conversation they should have had. Because I keep telling over and over again, all roads lead back to Anthony Joshua and Ed Hearn when it comes to making Tyson Fury versus uh, 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 Anthony Joshua. Because because in the end, they eventually have to meet. And what Tyson Fury did, John Fury knows, oh, wow, he kind of messed up. He should have never done that. Let me play devil's advocate and... And uh, and say, oh yeah, that was the wrong move. You should never done that. You know, he has a he has a lot of yes man. Yes, he has a lot of yes men in his in his corner. At the same time, you know, I Tyson, uh, John Fury. I I give John Fury because he knows he knows what he sees in his son, and he knows when to call when to call a bluff and when to call bullshit. You know, he might he might be right calling Tyson Fury's uh uh, uh what he has done uh uh you know bullshit up, up up to this up this up to this point because if you look at it Tyson Fury uh, uh, has been you know he's he's not he's really not taking Deontay Wilder serious which I believe is is uh is a wrong move like it or not before Tyson Fury met before Tyson Fury even met Deontay Wilder before they met in the uh, in the ring in the in the first fight Deontay Wilder was known as Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. 
the man with the right hand. Let's not forget that, UK. Let's not forget that. All of a sudden, Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder, and then we forget who Deontay Wilder is, and he's a big dog, so he's this and that. Nah, man, that, that man still pretty much can't knock you out, you know, much like in the heavyweight. So let's not let us not let us not take anything away from him. And Ty, John Fury knows if Tyson Fury doesn't go in there with his head straight uh, screwed on right, he's gonna have a if he if 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 if, if that happens and uh, Tyson Fury loses, all the shots of the big money is completely out the door, completely out the door. And you can he cannot say oh AJ fight me no man you screwed that you you really messed that up by coming out and and and. And uh, and um, and announcing a fight that wasn't even re- that wasn't even ready yet. I believe I believed AJ from the go. Like I said, you know, as as uh, he said, oh, don't believe what anybody said until you hear it from me. I kind of figured if AJ didn't announce it, I'm not gonna believe it. So right. and at the end, at the end, John <laughs> Fury, what John Fury said has some truth to it. And I believe Tyson Fury going into this fight, he better be he better be ready. He better be ready. Thanks, brother. I so much appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned for my sister Bandy right here.